All right, so today we're going to be doing a virtual surgical plan jaw surgery of the upper and lower jaw on a patient with craniofacial microsomia. This is only the second surgery in the state of Florida of this kind. It's a very unique operation in that we're using computer planning and computer modeling to reshape the face of this patient. This patient was born with a birth defect called craniofacial microsomia, where half the face doesn't develop as well as the other half of the face. And you can see here the eye socket is smaller on the patient, the jawbone, the cheekbone is significantly smaller on the right side, and the lower jawbone, the mandible, is smaller. And as a result, the face is crooked, it's canted to one side. This, is, this CAT scan shows a picture of his jawbone showing that the, the segment of his jaw joint is, is significantly smaller than the normal side. And the surgery that we're going to be doing is a surgery where we use the computer to preoperatively plan his operation, but also use the computer in the surgery to plan to make sure that we cut the bone exactly in the right places so we can even out his jaw. And it's unique because in the past people have been able to plan surgery on, on the computer, but no one's able to been actually do the operation that we planned on the computer on the patient with the precision. Now we can do that with custom cuts on the bone that are computer designed and planned and placed on the patient exactly like we do in the computer. And then we use little metal plates and screws that hold the bone into the proper place that we plan on the surgery. We look over here. This is the actual computer plan for the patient. You can see picture of what the patient is currently. The cuts we are planning to make in the upper jaw in green. The cuts we're planning to make in the lower jaw in blue. Where we're placing guides to help us determine where to cut the bone in order to move it. Here and here where the teeth are, where the nerves are that we need to avoid. So we plan all of our cuts to avoid every tooth so we never hurt a tooth. And then we get a final plan as to where this patient will be here, seeing in the end that instead of this jaw being crooked and to the side, the jaw after the end of the surgery will be straight and midline and in center. So this is a very unique operation. The, the, that using the computer guidance and using the computer cuts and planning, we are able to do the surgery quicker, with less blood loss, and infinite more accuracy than we've ever been able to do. And for the, at the end of this operation, for the first time in this child's life, this child's face will be straight. Uh, Mike, with KLS, we work exclusively with uh, Dr. Stonicky in procedures like this, <clears throat> with your patients with uh, very uh, asymmetric uh, maxillary and mandibular uh, movements that need to be made with orthognathic surgery. Um, our newest product is something that Dr. Stonicky has just incorporated into his usage. Uh, this is now going to be the second case that we've done in the state uh, for this type of... Essentially you're taking a CT scan of the patient and through a virtual surgical webinar uh, we're able to design exactly what movements we want to make to the maxilla and the mandible and the bony anatomy. Um, we can do a soft tissue coverage to see what it's going to look like post-op, uh, which is very accurate. And that's kind of been something that we've been incorporating into orthopathic surgery as a whole, uh, where we've now stayed, taken another step, our specific company, is that we're now taking uh, titanium alloy plates that used to be a stock plate that the patient, uh, or I'm sorry, the surgeon had to bend specific to the anatomy, and we're now printing them. And so what was taken on the virtual surgical webinar is now completely replicated every single time uh, in the OR with these custom plates. So the custom plates are going to be thinner, they're gonna be stronger, they're gonna significantly cut down on OR time. Uh, which is going to cut down on anesthesia time and possible blood loss and it's going to make it so that Dr. Stonicky can hit his mark every single time as far as what his treatment plan is. So it really increases the accuracy of what we're trying to accomplish 